Here you see a schematic with two flip flops and a 7400 chip. Uh, I'll first show you the schematic. Um, 7400 chip, these types. Uh, it can function as a flip flop. There are four switches in it, and in this schematic. I've used two pairs of the switches to create a flip-flop and the flip-flop is in this case driven by a clock generator on the one it's here. Uh, these chips operate on 5 volt and the logic levels for 0 and 1 are defined and you can see them here for uh, 0 this is the logic level maximum plus uh, 1.2 volt and for the logic 1 um, the voltage has to be between this range and in this case the logic voltages the signal are applied to 1 um, here you see the schematic how it's built and the 7400 chip is driven by a clock generator on 2 Hz on the scope here you can see the voltage change this is the logic voltage on the input of the chip and this is my clock generator it's here it's also made from a 7400 chip um, I can switch the logic level here by hand and this output uh, I can switch between 2 Hz and 5 kHz so that's the maximum clock frequency when I switch to 5 kHz you can see here the uh, frequency of the clock generator it's not very pure here, but that's for this simple application no problem. Um, of course when the clock, clock frequency is high our eye can follow the changes, so all the LEDs seem to burn. Uh, but they switch of course in a, on a frequency of 5 kHz. So I switch back now. These are the types of uh, chips used. And LS here means low shot key. As far as I know, these low shot key types can um, work on, high, on higher frequencies. So, this is a simple uh, schematic that you can use for fun flashing LEDs or um, also you can see this as a divider circuit um, the voltage at the end of the chip is enough to drive a Darlington so instead of uh, connecting a LED you can also connect a Darlington with a lamp, a great lamp, a bigger lamp for 12 volt for instance in the collector line and then you can switch uh, lamps with more power. It's easy to build, you only need this clock generator and it's important to say that you need a bounceless switch to um, drive the logical chip because otherwise it won't function well and I I uh, want to upload the schematic of this bounceless chip, bounceless switch also.